Hydrocyclone working principle. Hydrocyclone work on the base of centrifugal force. As we know, if we rotate an object with the help of a rope in a circular motion, there are two forces acting on it. One is centripetal force that have tendency to pull the body toward the axis of the rotation. Whereas there is another force called centrifugal force that is acting opposite to centripetal force and try to pull the body away from the axis of rotation. Please subscribe and press bell icon to receive more videos. The centrifugal force created an object moving in a circular path is given by Fc is equal to m v square by r. So centrifugal force is directly proportional to the mass of the object and inversely proportional to radius of the rotation whereas it is directly proportional to square of the velocity of the object it mean if century it mean if the velocity is increased two time the centrifugal force will increase four time if velocity increase ten time the centrifugal force will increase 100 times if we keep the other two parameter constant. So same phenomena is used in hydrocyclone. So this is hydrocyclone cone. This one is feed path for the fluid containing liquid and solid phase this feeder is connected tangentially with the cone so when this liquid carrying solid enter inside the cone there is a spiral motion of the fluid is created inside the inside the cone and this spiral motion is moving downward until there is a certain point in the cone where is where there is no more spiral motion at this point the part of the cone is called dead zone so because of the spiral motion of the fluid downward there is a light fluid column created just in the middle of the spiral and a vacuum effect is created so the air from this opening enter inside the cone and another spiral movement of the fluid created upward and it exit from the from this upper opening So what happen when the fluid move in a spiral motion the centrifugal force created in this movement it throw the solid particle toward inside of the wall of the cone and because of this spiral movement of the fluid these solid particle are scraped down and they exit from this opening this opening is called underflow or apex and because of another fluid vortex or spiral movement this fluid containing lighter solid particle it move upward and exit from this opening that is called vortex finder or overflow so this is the phenomena of the air entering inside the cone and it exit with the fluid 
spiral movement that move upward so air liquid and smaller particle they exit from here from the vortex finding or overflow whereas the solid core solid particle they are removed from this underflow this slide show the hydrocyclone working principle with the help of the text over here the feed which is not carrying the solid it enter through this tangential feed point or path under pressure and it make a spiral movement and create downward vertex because of this rotational movement and because of the centrifugal force the solid particle they are thrown to this wall of the cone and then because of this spiral movement of the fluid these solids are scrapped down and they exit from this apex point there is another vortex or spiral movement moving upward this is created because of the light fluid column in the center of the cone and because of the entrance of the air this inner spiral movement or vortex of the fluid carrying the lighter solid particle it move upward and exit from this vortex finder or overflow this part is called cylindrical part and cone nominal diameter is given on the basis of this cylindrical part of the hydrocyclone let's say if the hydrocyclone installed are 5 inch then it means the diameter of this cone is 5 inch over here in the cylindrical part the same thing is being explained with this hydrocyclone cone the mud is entering over here making the spiral movement because of the spiral movement the solid particle are separated core solid particle separated and they move down and exit from this exit point where is the light solid particle with the mud they move upward through this upward spiral movement and they exit from this overflow or vortex finder the interesting thing for hydrocyclone is that they don't have any moving part don't think that we have anything to scrap the solid from the inner wall of the body of the hydrocyclone there is no something like spring or nothing this is the solid this is the fluid movement and gravity which is bringing the solid from the inner wall of the cone downward and the core solid is being exit from this underflow or apex it is only the fluid pressure and this spiral movement of the fluid that is enforcing the fluid to make rotary motion inside the cone and create the centrifugal force and separate the solid core solid particle we are providing drilling rig online courses these online courses you can access with your tablet laptop or mobile so you can learn skills on your own pace and schedule
more than 6200 students worldwide are already enrolled to these courses the feature of these online courses are that these courses are online very cheap economically discount coupon codes are available on request once you purchase online course you will have access lifetime you will get certificate on completion of any online course there is 30 days guarantee money back in case if you want to refund your money the beauty of these online courses is that we have experienced instructor who have 12 years experience in oil and gas ruling sector so you will have information in hand in very short time